get some things wrong. We all do when we, 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 we do this game. But with Jesse Lingard, I've been consistent, man. And the kid, I've always said he's a, he's, a, he's an asset for Manchester United. And Oli's come for me the other day in the paper, isn't he? he come for me. I can't believe it. Bro, yeah, 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 yeah. All I would say is that people just need to watch the shows. Tuchel at the moment is answering every question. I felt that with Moyes. I mean, I played against uh, Bayern Munich in the first leg and had one of my best games for ages. Next game, I didn't play. You guys give Oli special treatment. That's Why? what it is. Because what? I just think because he's one of you lot, isn't it? So he's like he's he's one of your boys. You wait, know what I'm saying? Wait, because no, wait, 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 wait. So what are we expecting? Because every week you lot come and you guys are giving me a hard time. Today it's my turn. Soaking. They can never do it like I When you see man pull up and slide Man stepped in a room with legends Rio and Steve, you know it's a vibe Check the podcast, what you wanna know? Don't ask me, go and ask Joe If you're talking Premier League He's on the front line and I gotta go oh. It's a vibe with five, vibe with five And you already know what it is It's a vibe with five, vibe with five And you already know what it is Vibe, vibe with five, vibe with five And you already know what it is It's a vibe with five, vibe with five And you already know this yeah, yes, guys, happened. welcome back to Vibe with Five. Another interesting episode. We've got here Stephen David De Gea Housen, Rio made the front page newspapers, Ferdinand, and of course, myself, Joel 13th placed Bayer. Okay, <laughs> cool. Let's get this thing going. Listen, massive shout out to Soakin as always first. You know, we've got some good stuff coming up with them this week. Uh, we've got a meeting with them actually, where we're trying to give back um, to our audiences, Rio. Um, because we got to get these games going with Sokin, man. Like, it's a, it's a you know, they're doing a really good thing here, yeah, definitely. I agree, man. We're gonna get them conversations going, and we'll have some news for you guys next time we're on, I'm sure. Yeah, man, money transfers, you know, what I mean, there's there's a there's there's a there's a small hint that I might be with them at the uh, Arsenal versus uh, Tottenham game this coming weekend, so we'll have some more information with you guys. So make sure you stay tuned. All the information are in the T's and C's in the link in the comment as well. So, yeah, make sure you stay tuned to that. And Rio. Massive shout out to you, reaching 5 million followers on Instagram. Big man. Yeah, well, you know what I mean? It's five, innit? I've just got to get there as soon as possible. We've got there now, so five mil. He's like, man, but we're going, we keep going, bro. We keep going, we keep working. And I think it's just a testament to what we're doing here at this, on our YouTube channel, man. Um, it's growing fast, it's growing nice organically, which is always nice to see. And the content's improving every week, so it's cool. Yeah, you've been killing the game, and I, you know, since you became Agent 005, like everything's just <laughs> going up. So now nah, we we like to see, it. and also there's going to be some giveaways, people. Please stay tuned. Rio, you were talking about what ideas did you have in regards to the the giveaways? I don't know, but I want to fly people around the world, man. I want to fly people away, holidays. Nearest kids. Um, we're reaching out to a few different partners that we've got, a few companies uh, to make some special stuff. So mm. stay tuned. Again, stay in the comments, stay sub oh, uh, subscribed, fully subscribed, get your friends in there, and you will only be able to enter this competition if you're subscribing to this and channel. And following, and following yeah. as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, man, don't miss out. We've got some big gifts. Okay, cool. So let's get to the weekend games. Ooh, Man United. Man United, talk to just, me, man. We're just doing it, man. We're just doing what we need to do. We're just like, we are going to be that we are the place to be if you want event events to happen where you want to see madness going on. Where it's just not, it's not like you've got other teams where you kind of just know what they're going to do. They're very regimented and stuff. I think Man United are very much off the cuff. We could be the entertainers this season for good and bad reasons at times, but I think we'll get it right more often than not. And I think I just feel, man, you know, the penalties, man, we should have had, Ronaldo. How's that not a penalty? He's almost getting like he's almost getting kind of treated a certain way because it's him. Oh, I can't give it because it's Ronaldo because I'm going to look bad. I'm going to look like I'm just pandering to because of his his stature and status. No, it's a stone waller. It's like a Garrett. It's a stone wall, 100% penalty. I don't understand how you can't give that penalty. Even looking back with VAR, how are you not giving that? Don't make sense. But I think Man United get the job done. I think it was two. I think he could have got two to be fair as well. Yeah, it was two. You know. But Steve? in the end, man, we get it done, man. And, and, and listen, people were crying out for, for, for Jesse Lingard to go out on loan. Yeah, I agreed. If he weren't going to get opportunities, I was saying he's got to go. But it looks like Oli has said to him in the summer, you're going to get opportunities. I'm going to give you game time and you've got to make impact. And he's doing that last week. And this is how football is so... This is a great example of how you can be the, 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 the villain one week and then three, four days later, you are the hero. 
that this week for Jesse Lingard encapsulates what it is exactly like to be a footballer. You, as I said, he, he give away a goal, held his hands up during the week. Everyone's saying, "Ah, oh, he should be gone. He shouldn't play." Blah blah. blah. He's the villain. Come this week, gets thrown on, produces the good, bangs one in the top corner. And I've got to say, man, I get some things wrong. We all do when we we, we, we do this game. But with Jesse Lingard, I've been consistent, man. And the kid, I've always said he's a, he's, a, he's an asset for Manchester United if he's used in the right way. And he's, he's come on in this, in this game and produced. I think he could do that all season. If he's willing to play that role of coming in and being an impact player and, and, and giving something different, which he does. I said this last week. He's, di he's different in that he's moving off the ball. is very different to any of the other players that we've got in terms of making himself available, playing off one and two touch, always on the move, being available and off the ball as well, um, doing good work off the ball too. And you need that variety within a team. You can't all be the similar players and, and he, he gives you that something different. Steve? Yo. Steve's a bit tired. Steve's a bit tired, guys. Steve's, went a, out Steve's got hangover. Night. Steve's hangover central. Listen, that was an unreal goal. Worthy of winning any game at any level. It was absolutely sensational. The drama of that last five minutes, though, that's why we're watching it. You've literally gone from drawing, winning, could be drawing again. And then you know, De Gea's save percentage of late ain't been great. It's, it's, his, his, first, it's his first final. penalty save since 2014, by the way. Madness. Wow. Madness. 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 So, that's, that's actually wild. And then, yeah, look, hands up. He absolutely pulled us out of shit there because we was we was dropping points. And again, these are the sorts of games United have to put away. And West Ham, under Moyes, especially with no Antonio, were always going to just make it difficult. It ended up being a way more open game than they expected it was going to be. Um, we ended up having quite a lot of opportunities, but so did they. So you just got to ride those out sometimes. And, and we did, and we come away with three points. So you got to be buzzing with that. Steve, that last season... We drop points there, 100%. Yeah. We drop points there. There, there. there seems to me at the moment, I don't know how long it's going to last. I hope it continues for the rest of the season. But there seems to be a shift in mentality that United are just like, we've gone behind, bang, Cristiano steps up, scores. He ain't going to be him every week doing that. But at the moment, he's got four in three games. So he's on fire. Pretty but good, isn't it? Not bad. His legs are gone, though. Everyone's, his legs are gone. He's gone. He won't be the same. All right, let me let me let me let me throw in a little spanner in the works there, in it. Like, go on, let's throw the spanner. Let me let me, let me be real. Go. I think Man United with that squad should be title contenders, um, challenging seriously. And so far, it looks like you are. I'm a little bit worried though, guys. Why? Because for all the papers watching, everyone who's going to blame Rio for this one, this is me, Joel Payer, saying this year. <laughs> I think oh, wow. Oli's going to get found out, man. I really do. Why? I, why? why? When I look at, for example, even when you look at that penalty in the last minute, that that was, it's, it's how football works, but it was almost lucky. I mean, the the has conceded the last 21 of um, those penalties he saved. Obviously, I don't think it was a very good move by Moyes, even though Declan Rice was on the pitch. I reckon he should have taken it. But I just feel like Oli rides his luck, man. Hang he on. really does. Why and, it's individual, and it's individual brilliant. Away. It's individual brilliance that's going to free him all the time. That's the thing. That's Jesse's individual brilliance right there. So I why just is it think not individual. Um, but but he's made the substitution when 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 Moyes used to. I mean, uh, Mourinho used to make substitutions in his pump. People used to go, "Oh my God, what a move from Moyes!" Why is Oli not getting that credit? <laughs> Rio, I'm sorry. Yeah, I I just, there's some there's something about his tactical announce for me. Yeah, that I don't think. I don't think he's got it, man. And that's just me right. being real. And Oli's come for me the other day in the paper, isn't it? He come for me. I can't believe it. Bro, yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, wait. He, can, he, you, you know can you let the people know? What happened? Steve, you like to relay things like this. Wait, before... Let's set the scene first. Housen, set the scene for us, please. He got asked... Um, I think he's been asked in the past about some pundits, um, the way they've talked about Paul Pogba. Unfair, usually. Um, mm. He's been asked about sort of what other people have said in the papers and he usually bats it away and goes, I don't, I don't, honestly, I don't care what pundits think. Um, and that includes G Nev, Roy Keane, uh, Rio in the past, but I don't know, like, <laughs> it, yes. I mean, Skulls is brutal. Let's be honest. I mean, Skulls is at times speaks like he's never been a fan of United. He's, <laughs> and I know it comes from a place of love, but he's absolutely brutal with us. Um, but it's, it just, I think everyone's picked up on it because, Obviously, 
the newspapers picked up on what, what we said about Phil Jones, and largely it was me, because I said it, and you went, that's out of order, and now somehow it's, you've had a go at Phil Jones. Um, and then, I don't even know what we were talking about, um, which has made made him ask the question this week, but it, yeah, he's, he's had another... Seems like you know a dick. You know, you know what, all I would say, all I would say is that people just need to watch the shows and watch the context with which stuff's been said. That's what I need to do. And when I see Ollie, I'm gonna give him a big hug, man. I'm gonna shake his hand and say, Listen, man, it's all love. I love you, man. You know I love you. I'm his biggest fan. Ollie's at the world, it weren't happening until I said it, bro. He's got a mean because right. of me, bro. He got a yeah, mean because of me. Uh, uh, the sign uh, I'm his biggest fan. I'm his biggest fan, bro. Sign it now. Really <laughs> I've got, I've got no beef. I've got no beef with anyone at Man United. I love Man United. I love the people there. But, but listen, sometimes stuff said in the heat of the moment. Sometimes time stuff said it for, and, and you get things wrong here and there. Yeah. But listen, man, it's a phone call, man. Just call me and just say, listen, really, what's going on? That's what I'd do if it was me on the other hand. I'd say the same thing. I'd just call people and say, what's going on? But listen, when I see Oli, it's all love, man. Hugs and kisses. Mm. That's it. Mm. Mm. Do you know if I didn't, think... if I didn't know what was going on from this side. Like if I didn't know that you two hadn't spoke, it, it seems like such a weird thing to break up, to bring up that I'd have almost thought you guys cooked it up together. Like that's what it felt like. Cause it seems so weird. Like if I didn't know that you hadn't, I, I would have, if from but the you know outside, what? I, I understand it though. This is the up. thing, I, I understand it Steve, because he's under pressure, man. It's big pressure. And then people are throwing questions at you and you just react in the, in the moment. I get it, it's fine. Like, I don't take this, this type of shit personal. It's, 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 it is what it is. And you just keep it moving. But at the end of the day, I think that deep down, they know that there's no malice in me. And I'm not that type of guy. They've all shared a dressing with me. They know what I'm like. And, and if I'm wrong, I'll, I'll hold my hands up like I did last week with Phil Jones. I said that I'll, I apologise for a certain situation that, that was said. It was taken out of context what I said, um, and if they listen to the full body of, of the of the the, uh, the way we were speaking on here, I think that people's this headlines and, and and reporting on the situation would be very different. But um, as I said, the sooner these guys watch these shows and understand them better in the context with which they're spoken, the the the, the better it will be, and the response will be very different. But. Listen, this is the game we're in, man, and you've got to be able to roll with the punches here and there, and this is it. And again, as I say, I reiterate, I'm a man, I don't hold malice in my body. I roll, I'm just here having a good time, enjoying. I love the game, I love football, and I love Man United, I love West Ham. This is just a fact. And so when I talk on these situations, it does make the news. That's fine, we understand that. But Man United, I, um... I don't care what you say, Joel, we're back. No, I know Listen. that the players are watching this as well. I saw one last week who was telling me they saw the Donny interview and they, they saw us talking about Phil Jones yeah, and stuff like that. Yeah. So I don't know if it's getting shared around the player stuff or if they're just coming out and having a look themselves. No, but it's natural though, man. I mean, when 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 you're producing interesting content, and the thing about us, we don't we don't hold our tongues like right now. You guys are happy, happy Man United. I said, yeah, you know what I mean. I rate the fact that I think you got one of the best squads, but I still think me personally. If Pep's your manager, if Tuchel's your manager, if Klopp's your manager, I can sit here confidently and say, yeah, you know what? These guys are winning the league. But I think because it's Oli, you guys have to carve your words and say we're challenging. And I'm sorry. I, yeah, I, I, I agree with that to a certain extent because he no. hasn't got the, the, the history um, in terms of winning trophies. All the games you just mentioned there, they've all won trophies. So mm -hmm. it's justified in the way that you're saying that. Oli has to prove that at Man United yet as a manager. So I get what you're saying, but you have to give him credit when it's due. Like he, he brought on Lingard. If any of their managers make that sub, all the papers are going, oh my God, but Master genius. Stroke, Master Stroke, yeah, he brought on enough. Jesse Lingard. Oli don't get that credit yet, but I suppose mm. you've got to win to, to kind of. I think, I think it's because of when you and you, you defended him when it came to his subs against young boys. Young boys! Um, I think, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when I saw. We're going to have to put this up, in it? Like, sorry. This is, again, me, Joel, in it? Like, I'm the one that wants to analyse this because we didn't get to do a review during midweek, in it? But when I looked at those substitutions in the Champions League, I, um, I just thought, man, like, it seemed like he was trying to, like, get out of there with a draw real quick. But in my head, I was thinking, this is young boys. You're Man United. What's going on here? You know, and... Um, no, but and I sometimes think you got to be... Some... Go sometimes, on. Joe, you got to be humble. Like, we're down to 10 men. We're trying to get out of here with a draw. That's a fact. I've played in teams who, who, who are more successful than the current team right now. Who done that? 
you know what I mean? But because it's Sir Alex Ferguson, he get away with it. He's fine. No one questions it. But because it's Oli, <laughs> people are questioning him. Like, yeah. it, how, how can you criticise him for trying to get out of young boys with 10 men with a draw? Why, why, how can you criticise that? Well, because I think because it's the speed at which he made those substitutions, he went defensive very quickly, right? And it's just like, come on, man. Do you know what I mean? Give it, give it a go. This is young boys. You know what I mean? This ain't, you know what I mean? The, 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 no disrespect, but they're not men. You know what I mean? They're, they're the young guys. <laughs> Jesse Lingard doesn't play, you know? Jesse Lingard you know doesn't play that through ball back. We come away with a point. That's Stop not it. on Oli. Stop it, Steve. I think the, I, I, me and Rio got into it in the group, didn't we? Because I said I wasn't a fan of them substitutions. Mm. But, you know, ultimately, you still got to look at the individual players. Also, Joel, when you say that tactically he's not got it, let me just throw this at you. <clears throat> Go on, throw it, throw it. Thomas, Thomas Tuchel was the PSG manager when United went there and smacked him around and knocked him out of the Champions League with, mm. with like five academy players in the side, like Angel mm. Gomez and Chong and Mason Greenwood mm. two years ago. Mm. Boys, right? 3-1 mm. defeat at home in a knockout stage of the Champions League. Boy, Don't see people that's, bringing that's these PSG things to United. Tuchel. That's not Man United young boys. You know what I mean? No, that's the PSG at home with with still, all of the riches that they've Man got United, and Pate Steve. and all that lot. Steve, it's right? still Man United. Anytime that we go to the Etihad, Oli's smacking Pep around. I'm not having the only managers that done that. Don't 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 try to only manager. Don't try to deflect, bro. Only manager we've not that we've not really seen Oli get the best of is Klopp at the moment, and we finished above him last season. So every single one of them has got positives and negatives, and every single one of them is taking points and losing points to each other at the moment. It's tight at the top. You wouldn't know. I, oh jeez! Stop it! Stop I, I, it the only thing stop I would say here, only, yeah, only, only this season, I think it's, it's the judgment is more. If they continue doing well, how they done last season against the bigger tight sides, he wasn't un, un, in question in them games because that Man United dealt with the bigger teams. They were in real good form against them. Their record says that. Where will we judge this season? Is 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 places like West Ham away, Palace. These games against the teams that they people think you should beat. They dropped points massively, drawed so many games against these teams last year. That's where they'll win or lose this title this year. Here's my problem with you guys. Are we going to free the real on five? Are we going to free the real people on vibe with five? Go on then. You guys give Oli special treatment. That's what it is. Because I just think, because he's one of you lot, isn't it? He's he's, He's one of your boys. You know wait, what I'm saying? Wait, because I'm no, wait, 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 wait. Because Jose, if, it was, if it was someone else, you guys would have a different energy, man. No, right? listen, look, 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 He's had four years. Is this his four, fourth year? Three, 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 three years, three, yeah? Three, three, three in December. Three, 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 three in December. And since he's come in, Joe, since he's come in, has the team gone like this? Slowly? Like this? Or has he done this? Oh, real. has he done this? No, 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 no. Stop, because... Don't forget, yeah, the way he's been backed, yeah, and this is, I hope, I hope the stats man's watching for our show, yeah, Did yeah, because I'm gonna, come like with, that, I'm gonna come with some serious. He's been backed heavily, man, like almost like no so other. He, be. he better be, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's been backed heavily, yeah. I ain't seen no trophies, big man. I ain't seen no trophies last year. I ain't seen no. Tro- Are you like, there? As an Arsenal Arteta. fan, who's even Arteta's the most got one more football. than him. You guys wanted to throw league. Arsenal digs. Even, even my manager, who is not having the best of times at the moment. Is one more than him, as far as I'm concerned. I mean, had the squad and the individual trophy. players to be winning stuff right now. How they haven't won anything no. in the last three and a half, four years. Don't be lost with the conversation. You're Joel, playing from. Would you rather? Yeah, yeah, be yeah, we are in your yeah. position with one trophy and propping up the table, matter. or joint top of the league with United in the Listen, Champions League. First of all, yeah, we're joint. You 11. can't even get yeah, to the Champions that, League right? to lose your first but, game. First of all, we're joint eleven. Yeah, we're not even in the Champions League. What are you talking about? Don't run away from, from what I'm saying. Are you in the Europa? Oli Ghana get special treatment. Are you in the Europa? Europa? Listen, does he get special treatment? Are yes you or in no? Europe? Does he? Rio, does he? They played, they, Rio, they played in the Emirates Cup. That's all I get in this year. I know. You know what? I, as I always say, I love Arsenal, yeah. But listen, <laughs> what I must say, yeah, is now Oli will be judged properly. Oli's been afforded time, which we all wish for all managers. Man United, the hierarchy, have done well by Oli. They've given him time. And you're trying to almost... No, no, that's not my problem. I just think everyone... If he's going to be given time, everybody should be given no, time. No, it doesn't work like that. Yeah, you've got to judge him in isolation. Oh. Everyone else ain't given time. That's their own club. They're doing their own thing. No, Man no, United I'm talking about Man United. I'm talking about Man United. Wait, Man United. 
Man United have done what you, I think all all clubs should do by managers is give them the resources and give them time. Now it's his squad. He shaped it. Now it's his. Moyes squad. didn't get time. Moyes didn't get time. They've learned from that. So LVG that. LVG was babysitting for Ryan Giggs, bro. Yeah, why that's what he why was doing. Looking backwards, I'm looking forward. But I'm to telling it. you where it is. Yeah, but we're not looking backwards. Why? why? Go I'm on, telling Steve. you where we are now. Oli now, judgment day. It's here. It's here. There's no excuses. There's no. Oh, it was. It was a Van Gaal squad as a hangover from Mourinho's squad from Moyes' squad. No, no, no. This is Oli Gunnarsson's squad. This season now, more than ever, he will be judged. Trophies, nothing less. He said it himself in an interview uh, recently. Trophies is what's needed. They need that now. If you don't get trophies this season, the hierarchy will be looking at it very differently to how they looked at it in the last one, two, three years. 100%. I want you, I want you guys watching to make sure you smash the like button because we're here free in the real. There's no hidden conversations. I know you guys are appreciating this at the moment. You know, Go on, Steve. Carry on, mate. Right, so the reason Moyes didn't get any more than nine months is because he got the, took the champions to seventh, Joel. There's your progression. We're in his team. Fine, but he took the champions, champions, champions to seventh. Then your whole team. expectation shifts because now you're not the champions. You're the team that finished seventh. Louis van Gaal comes in and Louis qualifies for the Champions League. But that's not fair, Steve. Before you go past Moyes, yeah? I'm not here, like, being the biggest Moyes fan and saying he would have succeeded, yeah, but you've got... How many years was um, Sir Alex in charge for? Too how many, many years? Not, or not 20, 20, 20, late 20, mid, mid to late 20. Let's be real, like yeah. That imprint, years. yeah. Not only... Look, let me tell you why I'm proud of being on five real quick, yeah. I tell my friends, yeah, behind behind doors, I say, you can't chat to me. I'm from the lineage of Fergie, bruv. Do you know where I'm coming from? You got Fergie there, you got the people he scored, and then it's dripping down to me. Yeah. When you've got <laughs> someone that's been there for so long, do you know how hard it is to, to get rid of, not even get rid, but change the philosophy and make it yours? The greatest ever manager to ever flip in manage the game. That's insane. And oh, you've given him nine months. You expect him to do that in nine months. I'm no, sorry. I know this. But sorry, mate. There has to be a flaw. Like you don't just get to come in and relegate us, which I know is an extreme, and that's not quite what happened. But there has to be a minimum expectation while making progress. If Moyes had come fourth, I don't think they'd have sacked him. But he came seventh. Once he, he got out of the Champions League, that was the minimum expectation. And that was probably communicated to him, which is why he was sacked when he didn't get that. Like, you can't take over the we team don't, we that's don't deal with won the league. Mate. You can't take over the team that's won the league and go, just finish anywhere in the top 10 if you want to be right. Like... After that, expectations have been getting reset every single year. Last year, we came second. It was a long second, and it was never really a title challenge in coming second. It wasn't. But United fans felt that was progress. Now, if if, if that would have happened after we were champions, we would have felt differently about it. If we'd have come second, but not even been close to challenging when we were the holders, we wouldn't have been as happy about it as we were last year. Expectations are getting continually reset. Um, and Ollie's showing progress. He's the only manager since Alex Ferguson that's had consecutive top four finishes. That exactly. alone is probably the reason why... Jose got second, went, though. Jose got uh, second and won you lot and won you lot UEFA. Yeah, Jose won you at UEFA. Yeah, yeah and he came to But and on top of that, on top of that, Jose was doing a decent job, to be fair. His problem was the way he would come out and talk about the players yeah, in the media. Yeah, that made it toxic. It was that's awful watching that. The place now is a far happier place than when Mourinho was there. You can tell that by when you walk through the corridors. You can tell the whole place, the vibe's different. So it, it shows you that if you looked at it over a period of time, it was probably the right decision. You lot, you lot, you, you lot, yeah, are just strong United hardhead. Because if you no, ask me questions shift. about Arsenal, segue, if you ask me questions about Arsenal, Arsenal, I would answer honest questions. But you guys... Are hiding behind your shades and oh. your hangover, yeah. Right. <laughs> and oh, no. you think, whoa, whoa, whoa. What are we hiding behind there? How, tell me how we've been. No, like right. I'm saying, yeah. In fact, but you admitted it, yeah, a little bit. But Oli has been afforded more time than other managers, where I reckon some no, of the other managers, he's, maybe not. He's maybe. hitting the minimum expectation, Joel. So he might not have right exceeded wrong, expectations. Are you, are you saying he should have been sacked? I'm not. I'm not saying. Listen, say? I'm not. I like the fact that as a football fan. You've got a positive manager that's working with players and he's doing his thing. But I think if it was another manager and he's had the teams he's had and he's had everything he's had, I think he might have gone. And yeah, but, uh, what, 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 but 
what's right and what's wrong in that in that basis that, or, uh, in that scenario you're talking about? Are you saying that we should just follow the trend of just sacking managers? Well, no, you know, I didn't or, say that. I'm, say, right? I'm saying I'm saying whatever you do, you have to do across the board. But you guys are just Oli in guys, innit? No, so no, obviously, you're, 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 obviously, learning from, you're learning from previous mistakes. Yes, um, uh, Moyes. How about learning? Whether he, whether he was right or not, sack him when he did. They sacked him quickly. There was a quick turnover into Lou Van Gaal, the same thing. But you have to say that Van Gaal and Mourinho, they wasn't doing what was necessary at this football club. They which wasn't, is, so, which is so, what? So, Winning trophies? No. Re- they, oh, look, what, you didn't listen to what Steve just said. You have to reset I did, your I did. expectations. So there's also getting the squad right. Yes, you want to be challenging for things, but also the harmony within the squad... Getting the sit, getting it put in a situation, but you know what? Even so, to go back to they, that, they point, were winning even, trophies, though. Even, you were winning trophies, it's not just about trophies, you're doing it in a certain way. And even the hierarchy said that the investment in players back then, there were players that were coming into this club that had no right to be there. Okay, cool. I hear that. I agree with that. Do you want to be carried on with where you're going, finishing second, not really challenging, not no, really challenging, just, look, and, and look no trophies, look, look, look not really trophies? Before. Do you Trust want me. to carry on doing that? Did because that's what it sounds like you want to carry on doing. I come on all the smoke today, man. I'm here that's with the all the smoke. That's the new move. <laughs> right, just so you know, the I'm, trajectory is going that way at the moment. So you can't be listen, disappointed, bro. I'm, How can you be I'm, disappointed? I've got all the smoke today. And don't get me wrong, I do think United have the squad to challenge. I'm not here hating on Man United. Do you know what I'm anyway, coming from? I Arsenal think... have got back-to-back wins. Where are you at? Yeah. Yeah, we're 13th. You know what I mean? And we're going yeah. under the radar, Hello. doing what we're supposed it's to be doing. Enough. I want to give a massive shout-out to Tommy Itsu, um, our Japanese right-back. Because I feel like, you know what I mean, he's had really good back-to-back performances. I want to give a massive shout-out to Thomas Party Because, uh, you know, before coming off with the cramp, I think he showed why he is effective. Um, one man holding uh, midfield. You lot didn't even see the game, I can tell by the way you lot are watching. You didn't even bother. Um, yeah, I think, Ram, uh, what's it called? Ramsdale, excellent job. He's been getting a lot of stick. But he really, really showed uh, man of the match performance as well. Great free kick by Odegaard. 1-0 to the Arsenal. When you go to Burnley, everybody knows it's a tricky place. We ain't got great, great results against them, really. It's always, we're always scraping it and you expect that. You always that. normally get bullied and beat up up there. Yeah, no, nah, I don't know. I don't know about bullied and beat up, you know, but it sounds like you're a bit bitter from our... <laughs> it's true. You normally get bullied and beat up by them type of teams. Arsenal were yeah. a And um, I want to see... I want to see Aubameyang get on that score sheet more. I think the way you guys got Ronaldo, Lukaku, uh, Chelsea got Lukaku, Salah, he's their talisman. We need our talisman firing. I think if he's not firing, we're still going to struggle. We need I him want to that be. As well. I love, I love Aubameyang. I love him the way. Why he do you like him so much? I don't, just think he's a, he's, a, he's a wicked finisher. I just think that, hmm. but I don't know if the club are playing, they're playing to his strength. They need to get the ball forward quicker. They get the ball forward quick and and, and set him off and set him free, man, running through teams and that. And I think he. He's such a he, in full flow. He's as good as most man. He's just an unbelievable finisher, and I think when he's smiling, he's on form. He makes Arsenal a, a considerably better team. Yeah, 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 yeah. What, what do you mean? Can you elaborate on the considerably better team bit, please? Well, because they've got no one else who's finishing chances like him, like, and, and obviously that the the, the the more often Arsenal are nil nil or a goal behind, and he's not on form or scoring. You ain't got anyone else really who's gonna bang you goals. Um. Um, what? I mean, I'm thinking in it. I'm not trying to argue with you. I'm thinking in it. Like obviously he's the main man in it, but we got contributors. Saka scores. Um, Martinelli. He ain't really played well. Let's be honest with you. Since he's come back from injury, let's not even cover mm. it up. Um, I think Lacazette should be scoring more goals. Um, no, I think unfortunately you're right, man. It's 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 barren. It's bad. It's dry. It is. Mm. But you see me, I tell the truth. You know what I mean? I say, Wait, I say, is that, is that a man? Is that a man? Um, I think this year is the year where he's going to get judged, isn't it? Um, I think if so far, if you're going to ask me, has he been the man? He hasn't been the man we wanted him to be. The team hasn't been the team we wanted it to be, you know. But I do like the fact that all the attention is everywhere else because I don't think my team can handle all the spotlight at the moment. And I think every other team around Man United is going to benefit from that. Jack Grealish has no pressure on him anymore. Even, even players at Man United, like Jadon Sancho, I'm actually very happy for an England perspective. And I like the player. I like the guy. I think the fact that Ronaldo's there, there's all this other stuff. It allows for players to get on with their day-to-day job. And I think Arsenal, we need that the most out of all the teams. And I think 
players, even teams like Liverpool, they're going to benefit from that, you know, like just getting on about their business, getting their wins. Chelsea, I mean, Chelsea, we, we people are watching them, but I think a lot of other teams are going to benefit from United getting all the press. Liverpool are flying, man. Liverpool, are, like you say, like not under the radar, but like they're just going about their business quietly. Mm. Another three 0 win. Salah again. Mane, is it his hundred and fiftieth goal? Yeah, it was a uh, his hundredth goal. Hundredth goal. Yeah, hundredth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like crazy, man. Like that. Liverpool are just looking like uh, they look like a really well old machine as well. They just look comfortable. Can yeah, they no, do it? Can they? Can they sustain now. this? Can they sustain yeah. this and win the league? Squad depth worries me. Not worries me because I, I don't want them yeah. to win it, but you know what I mean? Squad depth is something that I reckon has got to be a concern for them. Yeah. As, the they, as they saw last season. they got the African Nations Cup in January, I think, as well. And then obviously that's Salah and Mane will be gone. So that's, that's going to be a problem one. for them. That's a big, big for problem. Them. Mm, yeah. But no, I, it's I, true. I, listen, I, do, I, do, I, I think the league's better when Liverpool are flying as well, though. I think it makes for a better uh, spectacle. I think Leeds, I mean, Liverpool, Man United... Chelsea now, it's going to be Man City as well. There's four teams that could all have a shout and say that they could win the league this year. They'd all be confident within their own camps. The Liverpool, I think. Uh, isn't this the thing though, Rio? There's four teams who can conceivably think that they could challenge for the title this year. Does that mean three managers need to get stacked if they don't? No, no. It, it, all, dep it all depends in the manner, doesn't it? It depends in the manner with which they, they go about it. And I think it's... Um, I Pep, Pep and Klopp aren't getting the sack, so just take that. Tuchel's not getting the sack either. So only Oli is the one out of there you'd say if he doesn't finish the season, probably second or first, with and, and no trophy as well, then he's going to be why? he's going to be in trouble. What do you mean? Why? Why? Why are all those managers? Because look what they've done. The history that Pep's got at Man City, he, he's he's got a lot of a lot of time. Klopp, he's got he's built built up time. And so has Tuchel, who's won the Champions League last year. Although Chelsea, obviously, their record suggests it doesn't and, matter. What and, you just, so. and if you, and if you look at the last <laughs> four years, if we look at their three, or even their last three years, we isolate that time. I think he's the only one that hasn't delivered. Who? Oli. Yeah, but he's from the... From the it, where we came in I, wasn't, at, I, wasn't, I, wasn't, I was just saying at, facts, mate. I was, I was just where saying... Where we came in at to where it is now, there's been a, a, a distinct improvement. That's all mm. you can ask for. That's all you want. You want an improvement. You're not you Manchester Improvement do. United, you know. You're not Manchester huh? Improvement United. You are Manchester United, the 20 time. Yeah, but you're, you're looking at Man United that. from when my generation and beyond before that, you're looking at it from them standards. It's very different now. They started from a different place. Expectations still remain the same when you walk into the theatre of dreams, my friend. No, 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 no. You have to be a realist. You have to be a realist. You've got to be realistic about these things. You can't go into there. It's like going into Arsenal and saying, oh, I want to see Vieira, Tony Adams and Thierry and rerun that. That's what they got to live by. No, it ain't. Because they're way behind that. Do you know what I mean? That's well, like at least going, I'm honest oh, with that. Hold though. on. That's like going, oh, hold on. The old Leeds team who won the league in, in uh, years ago, this team's got to live up to that now. They've got to live up to that when Cantona was there. But no, it's not. It's different times, bro. Different that was That was a good 30 years ago. I'm talking yeah. within the last 10 years, mate. No, but it don't matter. You can put a it year It does. It. it really like, does. It's, it's, it does. It's here and now. How you judge it? And so, so what are we expecting from Manchester United then? Because I feel like I got you. Right, you are back so to what, Man United, Jay. Is that what you want yeah, to do? That, so, what are we <laughs> expecting? Because every week you lot come and you guys are giving me a hard time. Today it's my turn. Yeah, Joel. Let if me just roll this at you. We're top now, of the league. Calm um, yourself. If Go you're on. in the chat, if you're in that changing room now, mm. with what they've got, the weapons they've got in there, the experience they've brought in there, I don't think there's a player in there or a member of staff. Who has not got their eyes on winning the league this year? Okay, cool. They'd be lying if they'd done an interview and told anybody that no, we're just happy with chap top four. This May United team now are built to contend for the league title. That's it. Does does Rashford, Steve, you you you'll be able to answer this. Obviously, they're all athletes. Where does Rashford fit when he comes back? Um, that's the that's a big conundrum because Pop has been fight given a freedom and he seems to be enjoying it. Um, mm. playing a bit higher up, less defensive responsibilities. Ooh. My issue with the way he's Pogba. playing Pogba and how he started with Greenwood yesterday is when you're playing against a team that's going to sit deep, two banks of four, you need width to be able to get round it and you, you need width to provide Ronaldo with crosses. Greenwood's coming inside. He's basically a striker that plays on the right. 
Pogba's not a winger. He ain't going around the outside of the fullback. He's coming inside. So it makes it very, very narrow and it makes it difficult. wan even though I thought he had a great game yesterday, he isn't going to be whipping crosses in. Um, and so you're reliant on Luke Shaw. Why is that? Is that management? Side. Because I don't understand why he gets into good positions and he doesn't just whip it in. Who? Uh, wan He gets good positions. It, 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 it does. And I, he had... He had a decent number of assists in the grand scheme of things last season. Um, That's and maybe with better targets. doing sort of work behind the scenes. With. He's working on that. Is he? Well, it's, it's shown yesterday because that was the best game I've seen him play attacking yesterday. He was good. Uh, and his defensive covering was was a lot better than normally, like instinctive defending, which I think he, he struggled with in the past. Mm-hmm. Um, I thought it was decent. You know, I, I, I would not mind seeing more width. Rashford on the left, he's, he likes to go around the outside occasionally, even if it's to cut back in last minute. Um, he uses the width. I don't mind seeing, even though Greenwood's in fire form at the moment, I don't mind seeing Sancho and Rashford as wingers to get around the outside and to spread teams a little bit mm-hmm. because I think that's what you're going to need, uh, especially with Ronaldo down the centre. Where's Cavani, by the way? What's going on with yeah, him? Yeah, I was going to ask you. Where's yeah, Cavani? Getting fit, probably just getting fit. But you don't, you don't have, to have to worry yet. There's no need. It. Don't have to get in calling on him yet. Don't need it. It's mad, isn't it? Look but it's the main United that... show, man. Chelsea. I know, Chelsea, no, I know. But obviously, you know what I mean? I thought we, we really need to focus on you guys this week. You know, I feel like we really need to dissect and break it down. because oh, yeah, we never talk about United, Joel. No, no, but it, we talk about United in a particular way. I think sometimes there's issues that we need to talk about. And I think yeah, no, that's I the agree. good thing about the show. I agree. But listen, yeah, we're talking about league, what, mate, what, what, what Chelsea are doing right now. Cool. And you talk about Oli and that tactically you've been, you've been questioning him, etc. Now, Tuchel at the moment is answering every question. Every question, t- tactically, what half time he goes in this game against Chelsea, switches it up. He, he done it with uh, even with the in the Super Cup game. With Kepa, the goalkeeper, changed him for penalties. Um, with Mendy, like he's made every decision he seems to be making at the moment is coming off. Mm. And the, the players are obviously playing completely for him. They believe in everything he's doing. That comes with winning trophies. They won a Champions League last year, but they've now translated that into, into league form. I think they've got the most clean sheets and best defensive record since he's been in charge. So you can see from top to bottom, he's got the place really firing on all cylinders. And taking Lukaku like he has, we even didn't even score this week, and they won three 0 Rudiger, by the way, won me my game this my matchup this week on fantasy football. Nah, he's the man, you know. I think Rudiger, he's been Rudiger. the best centre back so yeah. far this season. Since Tuchel's come, I think he's yeah. been arguably the, the best, best centre back. I think Diaz yeah. would have run, would have been close him and Diaz, but I think yeah, his man. effect on his team has been immense. He's What's how he was getting? Go is on, it see. working with him one to one? Is it a change in role? Is it tactical? Why is he? Look- I think under That's under Frank different. under Frank. Um, it was evident that he was Frank was he wasn't Frank's cup of tea. Frank um, didn't really like him. There was rumours that, that they were trying to put him in the market to be sold. Um, so so in Germany, he's always been highly thought of. But when a manager doesn't rate you and you can feel that, I don't care who you are, your confidence takes a little bit of a beating, and then it's hard to perform at your level. It's difficult. It's, that's the wor- for me. That's the one of the worst places to be, where your manager, you can feel that he doesn't really believe in you, doesn't really trust you. So when you go out there, every single decision and, and, and move you make, you are questioning your mind. You think it's right, but does the manager want that? I think that's a good ball. That's the right ball. The manager, I know he's not going to fancy that ball. So your confidence just goes from just lower and lower and lower. And it's Have you been in that position? Yeah, I felt that with Moyes. I felt that with Moyes. I mean, I played against uh, Bayern Munich in the first leg and had one of my best games for ages. Next game, I didn't play. In the in the in the in the, the, the follow up game against Bayern Munich away, the one where Ever scored that world goal, I was on the bench celebrating from the bench. But I was like, "Whoa!" That just threw me. That just wrecked my head. And I was like, "No, nah, this ain't." But I knew before that I had a feeling that he he thought this and maybe Rio's not the player he was, etc., which is fine. And it's, at that stage in my career, it's different for me because I've got to come to terms with that a little bit. So I was coming to terms with maybe my powers weren't what they were once were. A new manager, does he like me, does he not, etc. Was I even playing to my capabilities? Maybe the injuries had taken. There's so many questions. So it's difficult for me to be like Rudiger's at the absolute prime time in his career. So it's very different. So he's just questioning one thing. The manager likes me or he doesn't. And then my confidence level dropped, my form drops. It's not really questioning much else, whereas mine was a bit different to that. But yeah, even for instance, new managers come in. Capello comes in with England. Does he think I'm the guy or not? We're three of us are fighting for the captaincy. He's give it to someone else, maybe. I oh, don't even rate me. Then he gives it to me. Actually, I'm back on. I'm back on fire again. He, uh, confidence is sky high. 
So it can go up and down, no matter what level player you are, you have them different demons in your mind when someone new comes in judging you. Were you right? What, what do you think Moyes was right? Obviously, I always reiterate, you guys are cool now. It's nothing, whatever. But do you think when looking at it, he was right with your form? Like This is you, be honest, because you've joked around and you've said, boy, when I went QPR, you know what I mean? It weren't the same. But mm. when Moyes had you and you were doing the Man United training, was he right or not, in your opinion? Well, the, the year before, yeah, I was in the Premier League team of the year. Um, vote, that's voted for by the players. So I was obviously doing something right. We won the league. Then the year Moyes comes in, I think I had a few more injuries as well. Um, but I thought I was still more than capable of playing more, more, more games. Yes, my powers were on the wane. Um, but at the same time, I had to understand as well that you had people like Chris Smalling and Phil Jones coming through. So. He wanted to integrate them into the team, and I get that totally. But as a player, you're kind of selfish, and you think, no, 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 I should be playing, man. And there were times where I didn't agree with some of the things that he'd done or he said or whatever tactically. I, was, I questioned a few things. Um, I just think that, that coming into that job was so difficult for him, man. He was never going to win. It was so difficult to win. The tide was against him. He was swimming against the tide in all, all areas. Um, and... I think in the main, he was probably, I don't know, man, it's hard for me. But I just think, I look back at that game against Bayern Munich when I played ridiculously well in one game and then he doesn't play me the next. And I just feel like, wow, there's nothing. It doesn't what, matter what, what I do then. You've got you've made your mind up on me already. What, what does that do? Sorry, Steve, I've got a couple more to ask him. I want to stay in, in this era, then you can take over, bro. What does it do for your, com not just your confidence, but your status at the club? Because at one time, you're real big dog Ferdinand. Like, everybody knows what time it is, you know? It's embarrassing, man. Your pride takes a beating. That's what I say. Every, all the players in them change rooms around, around the country, that whatever level you're at, there's egos all over the gap. And you all want to be the big dog. And and, and the, the, you're all jostling for position, proving yourself daily, weekly, all the time. Um, and the manager takes you out. And it was the manner in which it happened, really. I just said, you know what? It's a, I, I, and I made it. And I never made it evident or clear before. I was never like that. But when that happened, I just took it as a massive disrespect. I just thought, this is a piss, like, piss take. I ain't having this. Did you see him? I, huh? Did you go see him? No, because it was the day of the Champions League game. It was the day of the game. I couldn't really say anything. So, okay. uh, But all the players knew how I felt. I couldn't hide it. And I... Uh, but then obviously you prefer, get professional, you get into the changing room and, you, and you're fine and you, everyone wishing everyone well, good luck, etc. And you don't want that, you don't want that feeling to come out in that situation or anyone to feel bad. Like the last thing that I would want is Chris Smalling who might who would come in maybe. I wouldn't want him feeling that energy from me. So you do everything you can for him not to feel that. Do you know what I mean? I still got more, but Steve. Oh yeah, Steve's a bit tired today, isn't it? That's like, all right, cool. Um, do you think you players made it easy for Moyes? Yes or no? In what sense? Because you said that the tide was against him. Obviously, we know what us, the fans, thought. We know what the media thought. Uh, you, as players in the changing room, were you... Do you think you made... Because you said it yourself, big characters. League winners. Five, six, seven titles galore. When he's coming in, are you guys... Especially when the results don't go your way, are you sitting there giving him that or what's going on yeah well we had a couple of meetings where like, i was like no that, i don't agree with that i don't agree with that what you're saying there's wrong like i would say it like we had is it true that he'd shown you some footage of jagielka and said that's how you no know that's it. like a myth that's a myth oh, that's not true no 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 and i like Jack, uh, jags he's a good lad but he he he, he would never have shown me a video of jags um but it, it was um it was just videos we were doing stuff and he showed us a couple of scenarios and i was like no i'm I don't agree. Like, I, and Vida was the same. We, we had some big arguments like, with each other, let alone be the manager, with each other. Um, so in that situation, yeah, yeah. It, it'd never really been like that while being at Man United because it was running an autopilot before that. And then all of a sudden you, you, you get in this situation. I just think it was a really hard job for him. Um, you've got to remember he's coming in with, like, as I said, people that are used to winning, have done it a certain way, and he's going to change the will a bit, which is right. He's the new manager. Um and he had big, experienced players like Giggsy, like myself, like um, Evra, like um, uh, Vidic, 
but those four players I mentioned there, um, then after that, you've got like Rooney and people like that. But, but them four players I mentioned there ended up coming out of the change room and, and, and going on to pastures new at the end of that EV's first season. And so you're taking that big chunk of characters and leaders and people of the experience that we had all together out of that squad. It's like ripping the heart out of a machine. Um, and that's one of the things I think they got wrong. They could have maybe got rid of two of us, whoever which two it was, it didn't really matter, but get rid of two of them guys and keep the other two to continue the, 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 the day-to-day running of the change room and, and whatnot and standards, etc. cetera, what's expected. But, you think, but I think with hindsight, I think David Moyes is very, I've spoken to him a few times, he would do things differently, but like everybody, he's in this, that situation was difficult for whoever went in there. Because David, David Moyes has proven, again, he's a flipping good manager. He's done it yes, at Everton. He is. Had a wayward spell in between that, between mm-hmm. coming back to West Ham, and he proved last season he's doing it again this season that he knows mm-hmm. his way around management. Yes, yeah. Is it his fault? Do you like have some managers that are relegation avoiding experts? Is Moise's forte making mid table teams compete for Europe? Is that like his thing? Like take maybe, someone maybe, from the maybe, maybe. Up? maybe that's the case. And it's also there's so many different layers to it, like dealing with a certain level of player, maybe. Um, you've got like big, like I say, people that are used to winning, like stars, etc. Dealing with them is very different than dealing with other players, maybe, who aren't used to that. It's, there's loads of different reasons why it could be that he's doing so well there. Do you know what I mean? You should yeah, get him in, Joel. I... After Big Sam, Big Sam keep you up. Let him steady the ship a little bit. And then get Moyes in. You can push for your own league again. <laughs> Listen, wait till the end of the season, yeah? If you don't win any trophies, I'm going to be bringing these clips up. And you better hope Arsenal don't win nothing. Yeah, because oh, I'm telling you, we've already got four, four FA Cups in eight years. You man keep chatting, yeah? Let's keep it as that. Um, all right, let's move on to Man City versus Southampton. Now, if it's any other manager, it's a big hoo-ha. Oh, my gosh, what's going on? They've lost against Tottenham. They've drawn against Southampton. He's drawn to Southampton at home. Yeah. One shot on goal. That's poor, man. What's going you know on what? over there? If you look at last season, they've started worse than this season. They won the league at a canal. Mm. So that's why there's yeah, no but, panic. That's why there's no uproar. But, yeah, but teams weren't teams weren't around them, weren't as strong. I, I generally think that not having a out-and-out centre-forward besides Torres is is, um, is really going to harm them, you know, this season. Yeah, this season, that's going to that's gonna be the story around Man City. If they don't win it, it'll be because they didn't get Kane. That's what everyone's going to say. Um, but I, I, I reserve judgment on Man City. I think I, I thought they were dead and buried last season. They came back out of the wilderness yeah. and just destroyed all, everyone and went on a, an amazing run. Have they got the squad to do it or the team to do it this year? Have they got the potency to do it this year? Uh, are the teams, like you said, stronger around them now? Yes. So I just think that, listen, I will reserve judgment and wait because they have the pedigree, they have the experience to really turn things around and go on a 20, 25 game on beaten run, winning most of them. Mm. Yeah, not only that, the you've got the, the pedigree that they've displayed winning, you know, most of the last recent leagues, the blip where Liverpool pinched one. You've got, on a, on a serious note, <laughs> it's, it's going to sound like a dig. And it might be a little bit, but it's not intended fully to be a dig. They are a small club, so it's not worth talk sport making massive debates about them. No one's Stop asked. It. Stop it. Stop it. They're not, Stop they're not it. Big clubs. No, no, no. See, it. See, I can't agree with that. Please. Stop Stop it. The helm. They're, they're, they're not a big club. They don't do clicks. Not like United. Even Arsenal. Of course they do. But that's the fact. No one's, de- no one's debating that, but it's, that's Guardiola not why no one's spoke about it. First of all, it's not it's not a glitter game, yeah. Anyone playing, sorry, Southampton. The only team that that will probably get all the headlines playing Southampton right now of all the top four teams is Man United. Why? Because it's the Ronaldo show at the moment. I'm sorry, yeah. but that's what it is. Yeah, you know, but they're a monster. You play, but, City are all, not a big club. No, no, no. They, you got listen. You guys are the mega. You're a mega. Well, you were. I don't. I don't know about now. We have to do some research on that. But you were a mega club at one point. Do you see what I'm saying? Man United yeah. is the place. It's the fate of a dream, bro. You got yeah, to calm is, down about it. Is. It is. That's why I'm there every well. week. Okay, cool. I get you. But when you You're look at... Club, oh, fundamentally, yeah, yeah. that's the reason. No Whether one writes like about it, it because me. no one would read it. They'd rather make another nah. story about Ronaldo, what Rio nah, said. Nah, nah, Rio's bigger than nah. Manchester City, for fuck's sake. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> trying, to, trying to put him you in the papers again, bro. You fucking Premier League, you got Rio. But, no but further questions, here, your honor. But what I'm saying here is, I think it's because people have that confidence in Pep. 
Whereas you were saying before, Rio, because he's, look, you thought he was dead and buried last year. They were dead and buried last year. They come and they do a madness. So we know that even if Man City have a hiccup, they'll be fine overall. People had confidence in Jose Mourinho, but it was news when he was at a big club like Chelsea. What do you mean? Yeah, yeah. Might as well I you are. I, I don't know, Pep, man. Pep's a, Pep's a story, isn't it? My, my biggest concern, not concern... Pep's but bigger I, than them my, as a club. The biggest the biggest concern for me when you're talking about City at the moment is like, how, where's Sterling? Where's Raheem Sterling? Like, like you didn't see this coming. That's the I thing. T- I've been telling him, this. listen, I'm a Sterling fan, but I've been saying, yeah, you, you don't buy a £100 million player and then... Do you know what I mean? And then next thing you know, and look at how he played in the Champions League midweek. Like, it's it's hard for Raheem at the moment. And and I don't know what's going to happen, Rio, man. Because well, it's only because player. he's been taken out of the team that he's lost confidence. Mm. He was on fire, bro. He was like... For England? He was like... Produce, this guy was the go-to guy when he needed a goal for so many years. Like, and then all yeah. of a sudden, he's just in the wilderness. Like, just, mm. I'm just baffled by it. I don't understand it, but... You got, you got to, like this is the thing with with Pep. He, he gets it right more often than not. But with this one, with 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 Sterling, there must be clubs sitting there going, "Boy, let me see how this situation pans out." Because I would take Sterling all yeah, day. Yeah, but I, I I don't think he would go anywhere in England at this particular point because Sterling's still young. There's no top four club that he will be able to go to. He would have to go abroad. I'm not. If, you if know, I'm Liverpool, if I'm Liverpool, I buy Sterling tomorrow. Listen, Man City are not going to be selling. Raheem Sterling, who's still, uh, 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 let's just say, one of the world's best, yeah? Let's give it back to Liverpool to make them stronger. You must be mm. mad. No way. Yeah, it's true. He's got to go it's abroad. True. He's got to go PSG. He's got to go to the Real Madrid rebuild up if they've got money. He's got to go somewhere I else. You guys have been for him on loan. Is he going to go Barca or Real Madrid in, in, in the, this is the... So this is a good thing. This is a good point. If you'll play. The, the, way, the way that Barca and Real Madrid are, they're the times, the similar... This is the times when I got asked to go to Barcelona or Real Madrid. I got asked really? about it when they was in the rebuild period. But I was at Man United and we were winning everything. I, re- I couldn't leave that. I was addicted to winning. I got there. I am I going to go? And I'm going being asked to go in the position where this club is actually trying to rebuild themselves. So that's the that's the, that's the, the way that the Raheem will be thinking. The difference with Raheem is he's not playing. So the decision is probably a bit easier. But it's the right time and right place. That's why if I'm him, I don't, probably don't go Real Madrid or Barca right now. I want to go somewhere else. That's why I said Liverpool. Where, where, where do you go if you're not playing? Because you know when you're playing, yeah. Bayern. What about Bayern? Bayern ain't trying to get. Bayern wait. ain't trying to buy him, and he's way too expensive. They don't but move United like that. Take him. Wait, 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 wait. What Come year on. was it? Real Madrid was in for you. I can't remember exact year. Going back now, I spoke to Rijkaard when he was at Barca. I forget the year of Real Madrid. <laughs> That's a while ago, man. Yeah. Is it the same time for Real Madrid? No, he's around that over a year. It might have been a year before or a year after. They signed that. Ramos instead of you. No, he, he signed as a right back. Don't forget that. Oh, uh, yeah, true. Yeah, true. That's true. He was center house for them at the time. I think Hero was coming to the end. Hero. Oh, they signed Carvalho not after, long after that. They though, had Thingy as well. That, that was well after. And they had... um. Like who's the guy who he used to play midfield as well? Good player. Forget his Hero. name. No, no, he used to play midfield and play at the back. Yeah, El- Hero. El- El- or something like that. Oh, Ivan Elgaro. Yeah, some like him and a couple of others. They even my man. What's he doing while we went Bolton with the big hair? Ivan Campo. Campo was there, I think, them times. So yeah, my time. That was a long time. I tell you, you're flying by the way at the moment. Brighton. Yeah. Brighton yeah. are doing. Unbelievably well. Dan Ashton, what he's done, Dan Ashworth, what he's done there has been phenomenal. Mm. Potter's been phenomenal. I think last season they were they were they were dominating teams possession wise, but not being able to finish them off. And this season they they've just been able to get the ball in the back of the net. Danny Welbeck, shout out Danny Welbeck. I know he watches the show. What's that? Not this weekend, but clean sheets though as well. Yeah, exactly, exactly. It's big. Oh, one other story by the way. Messi did he did he blank Pochettino? Nah. Yeah, we've actually got exclusive rights, and I can show you all of his goals right now. <laughs> you are so welcome. You are it's cheating, you know. ah, no, you know, Messi, Messi, Leo Messi's goals. Messi. Do not dismiss what? Messi. No, yeah, yeah. Don't even, don't even start, man. Don't even do all right, that. You get... happy being you got out jumped by a midget, Rio. Don't mean you have to give him any props. No, he's the guy, bro. You can't dismiss it. I don't, I don't care. Yeah, what he's, he's, he's the guy, it. man. I, 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 you know what? There was a clip that I saw um, online, and and I do rate Poch. If I'm to be honest with you. But 
I don't know if his team know how to move for Messi, if that makes sense. I saw clips where yeah, he that. was running everyone around was and statues. everyone was statues for a bit. I, I thought, what's going on here? Like this, you got the greatest player here, yeah. What? Well, Arguably him or Ronaldo or whatever. Because Cristiano yeah. could go and play for Arsenal, for Stoke. He could play for Brentford. And Cristiano's finding a way. He doesn't need it to be perfect for Yeah, him. but their games are different at the current moment. Cristiano of an Argentina team. And he and obviously he's won something recently. But for the longest time, playing with all those legends. Like, I'll tell you this, right? If United had assigned him when we last won the Champions League, 2008, right? Imagine our forward three if we'd have signed Messi. It'd have been Rooney, Ronaldo and Tevez. It'd have been absolutely sick. But you know what? You know, he's an idiot. You know what, though? He, he, <laughs> you, got, you got, what's it called? I just went over Joel's dad, by the way. He's still working well, it, it did, Yeah, it did till, till that, think, but go on. I think you've got to just wait. You can't say this after two games, yeah? You have to wait for this season you know, to we're finish. We're being reactionary right now. Just play you the game. To see that, we have to see this season finish, then you can judge Messi. Because I think everyone's looking at it and going, if Messi doesn't do bits at PSG... Then the conversation about who's the greatest could alter a little bit, or could you got more? There's more than balance and weight going over towards Ronaldo for the Ronaldo supporters. That'll be their is, argument. Is he playing with Danny Welbeck and Pascal Gross? He's an idiot. Yeah. I'm just asking, or is he playing with Mbappe and Neymar? Yeah, but yeah, they, yeah, they, yeah, they yeah. haven't even. They, they still embedded them in the team, you know, Steve. They haven't even... They've only play played out. together, started together like once, you know. Let it play out, man. Where's the like, energy for when you're not used to a lot of players? Ronaldo goes anywhere in the world and bangs 25, 30 goals anywhere in the, in the world. I but think Messi's Messi does as well. the same, though. He what? doesn't. His team is his game now is about involving other players. Yeah, he's dropped deeper as the years have gone. You know, I'm not saying he can't score. Are you mad? Did you see Messi's stats last year? The goals. Okay, score. cool. Yeah, but you know, but, but either way, his game is about bringing other players in. Rio Ronaldo's is get me the ball, I will get it in. Messi's it game has always been about about sharing. His game's always been about that. That's, Messi, where, yeah. that's where him and Ronaldo differ massively. Yeah. This game has always been about bringing other people in as well as banging him. How can off. you share when man's not moving around you? How can you share if everyone's I don't, static? I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't care. It's just that's the way it is. These men have got to That's not the way it is. It, mean, it means, yeah, that it's not all to be put on him. It's the same. If At least Man United at the moment, what works for Ronaldo is that you've got very good service. Bruno Fernandes, when it comes to... Hold Listen, on a minute. We just you... had a conversation a minute ago about the, the service not being good at the, the way it should be for Man United. Who, the who ball, said that? The best, said, the best you were talking about Wemba Saka. No, I only Steve. said Wemba Saka. I didn't yeah, say Bruno saying, Fernandes or Pogba. No, Steve, Steve said the be, the, the, they don't get around the outsides and cross the ball. Ronaldo's best around, up there with the best two or three in the world at attacking the ball from crosses. Man United don't cross the ball as much as they should be at the moment. So they're not they're not playing perfectly for him right now. They're yeah, but, but at the end of the day, but he, but they're still getting the ball to him. If you're looking at all of his goals, it's not like oh, he's at the make them. On, Hold on a minute. On three goals to assist Bru in five it games. Bruno, it, it weren't Bruno or Pogba who passing the ball for his goals recently, was it? Who, who, what? Who, who, Bruno Fernandez set up the goal yesterday for him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on, but I'm saying to you consistently, because the other goals that he scored, who set them up? Um, Luke when Shaw. they crossed it in, what was, the, what, what was that Newcastle game? No, no. What was the Newcastle game? Who, who crossed Luke it in Shaw. for him? No, one Luke Shaw. Greenwood shot. Greenwood shot. Greenwood shot. But that's what I'm saying. He's at the right place at the right time. You're not seeing Messi in that position. That's not where Messi plays. That's not that's his not position, is what I'm saying. Yeah, but, but he hasn't been in that position all his life, bro. Yeah, but he's changed his game, Rio. That's what I'm saying to you. How? So you yeah, 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 he's changed he his game. Plays, he used to he, be he, he, play, he come with a false number nine playing in midfield with Sergio, Sergio Busquets, Xavi. You, and man, you man are just on some defending train, bro. That's what he I'm saying. He's got less balls than Idrissa Gay. Hey, yes, listen, sir, listen sir, we're sir. reaching the hour mark, yeah, <laughs> today, yeah. He and the man you finished was on the halfway line ah. or in the, in the, in the, in the 30 yards out going, where the hell is Lionel? Where's Lionel? What are you on about? What are you on about? He oh my gosh. <laughs> Who's the first manager to get sacked? <laughs> Who's it going to be? Steve Bruce. You reckon? Ooh, I hope not, but we'll see. Listen, man, I'm going, man. I can't do nah, it. I'm, I'm done, done with you, as well, to be honest with you. Oh, my guy at Watford. I'm done. Watford loves sacking the manager. Whoever's, in, whoever's at Watford this afternoon, probably them by tonight. <laughs> No, I'm yeah. going. I'm going out back in the sun. Yeah, I'm, I'm done as well, out. you lot. This is how we're ending the show. Guys, we'll see you I'm next week. Make sure you watch the Rooney uh, Rooney content that Rio put out. Um, oh, real quickly, if you can touch on that though, Rio. Uh, Derby administration. Yeah, man. It's, it's a sorry state of the game. And I, I've been talking to Gary Neville offline for quite a while about this. And, and I really agree. 
with the situation that I think should be put in place, that the game needs to govern itself now. I think uh, the game's been governing itself. We, it needs to have a governing body, I think, govern the game to protect the teams like Derby and the Berry and things that have happened, teams going into administration. It's unbelievable to, to, uh, to see that the game is bringing so much money at the top that everyone else is seeming to like, they, that teams are starting to suffer and having to go in, into to administration. It's not right. But all, loads of other industries have a governing body that overlook their industry and make sure things are done right. Football at the moment deems itself different to that and I don't understand it. But Wayne Rooney, we, we managed to get behind the scenes. The timing couldn't be any better. We got behind the scenes and the disarray that the club's in at the top is very different to what I went into. I went into a very like real calm environment where he had his, he, him and his management team were very clear on what they're doing. They've got a group of players that they're working with. They'd love to add to that, I'm sure, but they're not able to because of the restrictions. But he is enjoying it and he is doing a good job under the circumstances. So get in, go on it, look at it. We've got, we've got the video on here, subscribe. Um, turn the notifications on and get involved and Wayne Rooney at Derby behind the scenes is a good look. You drew out one of their players as well, innit, for, for something special that's coming soon as well. Yeah, right? man. Me and Ravel, little two-touch special. Just look out for that as well. It's coming on yeah, soon. Yeah, that was, <laughs> I can't lie. That was some sick. Let's, that content is coming out real soon, so make sure you subscribe. You uh, put on your notifications. You're commenting as well. I'm going. I don't want to be around you no more, Joe. You that's fine. I don't want to be around you either this week, brother. Because you got... I ain't, I, I ain't taking it no more. You know what Please, I mean? Go and fix up your, ham, your, your hangover. Don't ever come on like that again. You were, de you were, you were, you were dejected. You were poor today. You were, you were sloppy. Made it was easy fire. for me. Made it easy. I was fire. You look yeah. lazy. You look lazy in that chair. Yeah, Dude, I'm fire. absolutely cream crackered, mate. Yeah, I'm going I'm bad. Listen, I'm out. Listen, love you all, man. Do you want to? Next week. Still got yeah. it, didn't I? Still showing up. Uh, you still made it, actually. You showed up. Yeah. See you later, man. See you. Yeah.